A shocking win in Colchester. Excitement grows as merch is released and it's clearly autumn. The rakes are out all this week in Robot Combat. Two, one, Hello and welcome to This Week in Robot Combat. Uh, I'm not going to do a full review of BattleBots this week because the episode made me actually angry and I'd rather not be angry still. So uh, with that in mind, we're just going to talk about a few things and then move on. So I'm a bit upset um, that some of the teams had to go through this episode. Uh, the likes of Hypershock and Huge, uh, I don't think they needed to fight. In my books, their position had already been earned in the top 16. So uh, why they had to go through this, obviously only the judges uh, or the judging committee or whatever know. Um, but yeah, I, I was just a little bit annoyed, uh, really, that they had to fight and that one of the teams had to go out. I think I'd have been annoyed if either of the teams had gone out, actually. It was a really good fight, but I don't think either of them should have had to have fought. Um, the same goes for Cobalt here, um, who faced Duck and very nearly won. In fact, I would call that a very, very good loss. Um, they beat Bombshell very easily, and they beat um, Sub-Zero pretty easily as well, and causing a lot of damage in the process. They lost to Endgame, uh, which had sort of come back onto form for some reason. No idea why, they could have just let Cobalt have like a, another good win. But there we are. Um, I think had they have won against Endgame, they probably would have made the top 16 selection without having to go through this episode, but... Um, yeah, there's just a lot of robots who I don't think needed to go through this. Uh, Son of Archie is another one who didn't really need to go through this because they had uh, three very good wins. But there we are. Um, the selection committee selected who was going through this episode and that was that. It shouldn't really be that. I think it should be a case of they choose who has had a stronger schedule and put them in the top 16. It doesn't matter if they're on the bubble or not. It, means, it, it matters who they've faced. So... Yeah, that's, that's what's annoying me a bit. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention in this episode uh, is, well, a couple of things. First of all, Minotaur. I am in the club, and I think I might be alone in this club, but I don't think they should have been given a chance here. Um, I'd have much preferred a team like Gigabyte to be in given a chance because A, they didn't have to go through Desperado. B, they've had some pretty solid wins and some close judges' decisions as well. Um, or a close judge's decision against Huge. So yeah, it was. It, yeah, it was. It was weird. Um, and I think I actually preferred the Last Chance Rumble last year, even though um, there was all that controversy over Duck versus Bombshell. And I'm still at the camp that uh, Bombshell won based on the rules of last year. You can't argue that those were the rules, and they were changed for this year, and then the rumble just wasn't there anymore so there that was that um yeah the last thing is that we have a new salute for a fallen avenger or a fallen battle bot we just go arms up break star it's like in endgame the end of endgame we're all that deleted scene where all the superheroes kneel down uh, to mourn the death of somebody or oh, spoilers and if you haven't seen Endgame yet, why not? Um, but yeah, instead on the BattleBots field, if somebody dies, I'm looking forward to getting a Hypershock jacket out of spite for them going out. I'm really annoyed about that, but there we are. Huge one, fair and square. That's what I need to keep reminding myself, and Huge have done flipping well this year. So there. Right, news, before I wind myself up again. Here we go. It was an amazing win for Team Shock at Extreme Robots 2019 in Colchester last weekend as they won the final show and therefore the weekend against Team Eruption. A massive congratulation to all the teams that were part of Team Shock, including uh, Mr. BK with Deadbot as well as uh, several other robots. Uh, Bullfrog didn't really help matters, but we were there too, so yay. 
announced a couple of weeks back is RoboNerd 3. Yes, a smashing success was RoboNerd 2, so much so that they're bringing it back for next year. I would like to say a massive congratulations and a thank you to Cy Harrison and the whole RoboNerd team. It was an amazing event and uh, I'm very much looking forward to the next event as well. And would you believe it, we've already had our first guest confirmations that Team Storm will be there in person with some of their robots. So make sure you come along because Team Storm robots look amazing and lovely and shiny. That's RoboNerd and it's coming Saturday the 15th of August 2020. Now revealed on Reddit and also on the official Robot Wars Wikia, the sort of construction Meccano style sets for the Robot Wars house robots have been released. A year later, they were meant to come out sometime in 2018 and then Robot Wars got cancelled, so they got pushed back to, well apparently now, because they're out, they're in stores, you can go out and buy them, um, especially online, I believe Amazon have three of the sets, the Sir Killalot, Shunt and Matilda sets, and I got the Dead Metal set elsewhere, go and check out my review for all the information of where I got it, but if you want to get it like in person, if you don't want to shop online for it, then go to Robots Live because they will have some for sale there. Now over the past few weeks a few new series have started on YouTube including the absolutely fantastic Bashbots where they've put a load of robots onto Gary's mod and made them fight. It's absolutely incredible. Go and watch it. It's brilliant. I can't stress that enough. Um, I've been really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to seeing who wins overall. But also, Extreme Robots Bolton has started on the Extreme Robots Facebook page and YouTube channel, and episode 3 is coming in a couple of weeks' time. You have to wait just a little bit longer, Friday the 27th of September, over on YouTube and Facebook. Lastly, to Kickstarter, where Robot Champions is still trying to earn as much money as they can uh, to get this game off of the ground. So please do go and support if you haven't already. It is fantastic. Mr. Psycho did a uh, live stream last night, so if you didn't see that, go and check that out too. And that's just about all for this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, do subscribe to the channel. I should have the next episode of... Uh, the Judges Decision podcast up this week so also make sure you go and look out for that uh, either Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday, it'll be one of those days uh, once I've edited it all it's recorded and I think every other week works well for me because um, there are some weeks where I just don't feel like doing anything and that was this week definitely although I did actually make a robot and upload a video on that so you know there are some things I'll do right That'll do it for this week. I shall see you next week. That's how weeks work. Bye.